Yes, also a reminder that going. you can crowdfund the prize pool. The Let's World Cup is gonna be ongoing for months, so you see, you have till April. So support the prize pool, support the grand uh, uh, esports scene, even if it was somewhat abandoned. But uh, yeah, uh, the fun never ends, and we are into the game number one with Syndicate. Uh, being the weapon of choice here. No, Beansy for Cabell. I think his deck was the one with yeah, Beansy. So that's unfortunate. Xentax is yeah, playing Renfri. Sol and Vita together here are nice at the very least. Um, and uh, despite this is such a the Renfri is so weird. It has like some bits of control, but stick a five point unit in front of them, and they struggle to really just kill it straight up. Yeah. Especially if they are not able to set up like a Pyrotech or a skirm Skirmisher beforehand. Yeah, it's same as the Warriors that didn't buff up their rates. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure, you have the damage. At, le at least Squirtle has a uh, leader to combine it with. Uh, Yuri doesn't have that. Yeah, so Saul round one turn one is uh, pretty welcome welcomed here, even if you don't have the BNC. Yeah. Saul is doing the heavy lifting, of course. He he gonna have a meeting with Geralt later on. Uh if he yeah. tries to just grow into the infinity. We also see Xantiax, I think, uh mousing over the Zoltan. I might be mistaken, maybe it's not. But yeah. Maybe that's not uh, his line of thinking, but if he wants to lay claim for that round, yeah, Zoltan is pretty great. You can reactivate it later on with uh, yeah. with the just machine. And great. yeah, indeed. Just mm, yeah, okay. Forget everything. There is only... Sometimes Gwent is the game of one round, but sometimes Gwent is the game of one turn. 17-0, you're basically already beaten your opponent. <laughs> I think you would have kind of preferred to leave the Flying Red Dany on, on board there with just yeah. one point. You could have put an extra leader charge onto the uh, soul mm -hmm. there, but I don't blame them for wanting to finish it off that way. Even though I, I do I, think yeah, it I might guess have been... he, he just considered that he <laughs> reactivates that Zoltan and... Uh, it pings the ship. I don't know. That is very active. Like sometimes there is a pro proactivity lacking, but <laughs> that was a, a lot of activity from Xantiax here. Maybe this, this would is be the, amazing okay. if Oak was here. Let's be honest. Maybe this this is the last Gwent World Cup in the history of Gwent. So well, you you be. want to make it memorable. So you just <laughs> slam immediately, and then you can show 17-0 lead immediately, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what happened in the rest of this game. I mean, we clearly won at the start, right? Right? That's how it works, I think. I don't really know how this game works. Somehow I'm casting the World Cup, I don't know how I got here. Um... So, okay. Now, <laughs> now we slow down a little bit. There is thinning. There is like a just machine yeah. being played. Don't the see it. Like could be very good here if it's able to snipe some Brooklyn Sentinels. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if you're better off just trying to save your good engines and then just defend a bleed. Just give up the round. Except you're gonna lose on even and just. Say, see you next round. Yeah. So at the moment, yeah, the dog is in hand, but treat it as a carryover. Uh, using your leader is also a form of carryover. You are just improving your dro yeah. draws. Um, Especially when you have unicorns, which hopefully you'll find because none are in hand right now. Okay, so Cabell better says, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm done here. We already yeah. might have figured it out after the type of Panpsychers. Uh... But I, I admire this, because as an engine deck, if you're going to lose round one on even, you're much better off just saying, okay, fine, I accept it, I pass at seven. Because then you're given the longest round two possible to defend the bleed. You're giving your engines as much time as possible to start ramping up and not let the opponent just push you around in shorter rounds and giving them control over the game. Speaking of drawing, yeah. uh, both unicorns are found back-to-back -back 
Yeah, they, they, all, they also looking at one Maybe another, so they, they have a thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> one follows another. Um, well, that's... Uh, that's not a card you see every day. The Woven Agitator gonna be giving one armor to each uh, dwarf plate, but also giving one armor to two dwarves in the hand, so pirate technician and berserker got some. Yeah, and yeah, the way the Zemtiax has been playing, it feels like this is an Aaron die list, but it's not. It just really wanted round control against a very ancient well, deck. It's an you can call it an anti Iron die list. You just don't allow your opponent to grow, uh, to grow it at all. Look at this iron diet value at the moment. <laughs> A solid one point damage that you can play twice. Oh wait, there actually is an iron diet in Cabela's list. I yes, uh, we realize. might have uh, skipped over it uh, and Waganto is also asking about it. But uh, when he reminds it kind of makes sense if you're playing the if we go to treasures, I guess. If you want it, uh, like you cannot royal decree for it. Did you figure out the Madame without... Um, uh, this is just for peaches. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, See, when you are doing fourth series in a row, uh, you you save time discussing the li on discussing lists that already seen play. Uh, okay, that wasn't <laughs> one of them, <laughs> but yeah, there is a Madame Murky Serenity, and it kind of doesn't have um, a slice actress to it. Thank you, Killer Gagon. As far as the idea behind it. Well, I suppose we don't have the uh, King of Beggars as well. Like, uh, it looks like Cabello is playing around the six damage that the car next threatens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just short of getting ahead, so could be a pass from Xanthiax, but I mean, you're not going to pass here. Mm -hmm. Did he misclick in the deck builder? I don't know. That's usually what uh, Gwent players from France mm -hmm. were known for. Clicking uh, <laughs> Ethereals when it's uh, in an unplayed state. I wouldn't expect In a expect harmony so. list of all things. Yeah. Um... No, no Renfrey in hand makes this push a little less scary uh, on the side of Xanthiax. And the Rumage pools were not great. I don't think Manganel is that great. I mean, it can sort of combo a little with damage. Could use the two damage as well as the Kyronex here to kill the Hivita off. <clears throat> okay, so... It, 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 is it worth it to play, though, without, without Tribute in? I guess profit for is what you are saving. But yeah, I, I might have missed the fact that it doesn't have the the second part to it. So here we have it. I guess, to be fair, it is kind of eight points straight away, four mm -hmm. profit, two engines at once. It's pretty solid and you're able to get ahead here. I remember when the Madame hmm. was released and people were like, eh, Tribute is kind of eh. But yeah, then everyone started hmm. running the card and I'm not sure if it got changed at all. Like Novigrad was changed on release, after release. Madame was getting nerfs recently. But yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I wonder... Just I was going to say this might be the point where you can start playing Treasure Huntress, but with the... Tempo coming out from the Yukon Kyronex. I said I don't think you really have much tempo in response here. Mm, there is so at, at times there is no rent free in hand and yeah, then she appears. Going pretty okay, Foxante uh Foxantiax, yeah. 
Does he have anything left though? Oh, okay, he's in the deck and there is no no swarm to do anymore. So Oak okay, is not an exciting card in the next round. Blood! Blood! Blood, blood. Ping ping. Uh, my be <laughs> might be time <laughs> any moment oh no is it bincy time treasure hunters you kind of want to get the bincy down before playing the treasure hunters in a way because she does have profit three which is three extra mm -hmm. points in the bincy yeah you kind of want uh, well you cannot avoid her getting Geralt that so you cannot me being a finisher, playing football points. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's ahead right now. The peaches. Uh, Santiax never, never leaves the round without playing rent free and potentially Geralt as well. So if destroying enemy with the AOS power, I guess goodbye, Bincy. Okay, there goes the leader. Ouch. Yep. And then, yeah, the infusion is just four points on a pass. Because that will make it just that little bit harder for Cabela to be able to catch up. But now, like, this is the problem they have. These treasure huntresses are not good. You have four rounds left. The infusion takes three rounds to start making money back. It's just... It, it achieves nothing. Well, it feeds your uh, spender, who if overclicked meets with guilt once again. Um, like, you need to play Geralt this round. You're not getting anything yeah. out of him next round. Oh, well, there is a also. Oh, Iron Knight is a three power now. <laughs> To be fair, I think with the nine coins and the engines, the additional engines ticking, Cabela should be able to not get too worried, I think. I respect Santex's uh, approach to this uh, Iron Dite denial. Like, this, this is, is a pass to get card advantage. With the four points on the yeah, pass coming through, but decides to keep playing. And he doesn't oh, even decide to to Geralt and maybe keep the last card. Oh, there, there is no real reason to keep the pirate ignition to be free here. <laughs> okay, this is a somewhat of a weird game with how players decided to, especially Xandex. I didn't expect that immediately, but uh, what is Geralt okay. 15? I don't I don't like that spend on the candle. It's a lot less efficient than spending on the sea jackals. Um, and you could have spent on the sea jackal while still having it smaller than the tallest peaches, which plays around the Geralt effectively. Um, um, yeah, but, uh... That's a 2 hour. That's a tool with the leader passive and one extra thing. Uh, scenario Novigrad still in deck. But it does not matter. I guess the idea of the Iron Diet is that you can afford to defend a bleed and then have the Iron Diet as like a short round win con. It's kind of like a finisher in that. Just join in. This is the Gwent World Cup happening. Round one, week one. We'll have three weeks of group stage. But this is the last try series of the day, and we do have Xantiax lead 1 0 against Cabello Beta. And let's go into the game number two. So, Shield Wall from uh, Team France on Blue Coin. Dandelion is there, which is a nice addition to the hand. Golden Egger is already found. Uh, we do see double. We talked about them. Ice Giants, they are there. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ice Giants. 
They're the ones you don't want in hand. Like, they're just not good. And I don't see how this Arendai is going to be growing here. Like, this Gordon Ecker list, Shield list, has a lot of points coming out, particularly with this musicians already on board. <clears throat> Additional loot in a sort, yeah. Kinda decent, but apparently Dandelion is allowed to do some damage before. I mean, Teshin can be good, but it's basically like it's just get rid of the shield and then deal 5 damage. Unless there's additional statuses, it's still not amazing. Okay, except for this. This is where Teshin shines. I wonder, like, is it, how oh, does Xanthiax play around this? Never mind me. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Why did I... Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Teshin popping off. Love to see it. Yeah, actually, no damn sorceress is in hand. Yeah, there's no sorceress immortals combo here. So, apart from the dandelion, there's not actually that many great points within this round itself. See the false Siri coming down? No real answer for Cabello here. So, false, so the Siri Nova will have its resilience going through. What's the, what's the top unit? Is it immortals or is it. It's Immortals, right? Yeah, I think Immortals got buffed three times and the clique went onto the Berengar. Yeah, it looks like it. And Berengar is getting even more support from Dandelion. I think it might be correct to just take... Uh, maybe Toad who can find a kill on like a reinforced list or something. Toad will eventually find it. For those of you who try to nerf Iron Diet, because it's annoying, the, those two games, uh, like in the showcase of Iron Diet Zero, <laughs> it doesn't work every time. Uh, what is it? Maxi right? So, a brick, two bricks are at the bottom. Berengar is deep, but you have Royal Decree. You are also not finding your Immortals combo immediately, but with the uh, Golden Necker, you do that, so I suppose that's a keep. Yeah, I think it might have been. There's also Decree as well to just no. find a, pe a particular piece you need. Yeah, but if you want the Berengar, he was at the bottom, so yeah. I guess Decree is kind of reserved for that. I'm a bit curious about the sequencing here. Like this werewolf and because you haven't played this you've decided not to play the Necker Warrior yet. Like it's not triggering Thrive, it's only gonna be like a four point when it gets played, uh, But it is a pass from Xanthiax, I'm a bit surprised to see that, but uh besides I'm finally defending the bleed. I'm happy also to happy with the carry over, and uh, well, yeah. he knows that Iron uh, Dice wasn't growing at all. Yeah, uh, and I think considering you're gonna have the Siri Nova to start with in the round two, that's like an amazing way when it comes to denying the Iron Dice value, because the opponent either bleeds into your Siri Nova round two, which means they need to get ahead of the Siri Nova, which is sort of bad at also trying to get the card back, but also building the Arendite value. Or they just go into round three where you have first say, which is pretty good at being able to stop the Arendite growing as well. But uh, yeah, we see the Mimuna being drawn. Still no Alpha Werewolf. This werewolf is looking very sad. I don't think it's a full moon tonight. Uh, maybe a bit more of a new moon. We also got the shuffle, right? Because the Windhelm got buffed by three. Yeah. Yeah, and the damn sources was drawn as well. Mm -hmm. so. ah. 
Yes, it decides not to bleed. Oh. Is it dark sorcerer uh, interesting? Yeah, it decides to throw away the combo piece. Uh, well, the click makes sense for Cooper. I still might, I might have missed uh, s some of the problems with the card sequence, but it uh, kind of looked all right. From a glance, now you are drawing into the two bottom card, bottom yeah. cards in the deck. So yeah, not great draws. Okay, there is a special end location. You have draws. decent draws, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess you are getting everything. You just need to get a status uh, refresh either on the immortals. Oh, wind help. Yeah, you, yeah, I think you kind of really want to get either the Dance Sorceress or the Berengar from your Golden Neko. And then you can decree the other one. This, 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 this is when tune anything. is very low. It's like his music not playing. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, this one was doing a very good job at protecting against the Lord Riptide. Yep. Uh, kind of makes sense, really. I don't think Lord Riptide would be that effective against a knight who doesn't spend that much time at sea. Uh, Beta for Sad Mamruna, only targeting a 7 power unit. Uh, Griffins have not been played yet this game. And that is at 3 damage right now. I don't know if it's really going to grow by that much, uh, depending on how well this lead can be maintained by Cabello. Maruna's great, but what tempo do you have to follow it up with? Yotun? Mm, not the greatest Arandite campaign, if we've ever seen one. Or maybe Cabello's idea is to... Ox Antiaxis idea is to get a buff onto the Iron Dite so that it can be played Welcome for Geldol, the Maker decks. You just show that the card is weak and people are like, ah, oh, we are buffing that. Playing the long game, I like it. Okay, so the, the Werewolf is uh, finally yes. beaten like a predator. Finally found its back. But uh, yes, there is a single toll punish really in the form of that Wolfsbane, which is guaranteed to come from the Golden Necker. But before you play the Golden Necker, I think you'd like to either get the... Okay, there's their Dane Secret Service up. Oh. Okay. Well, There is a lot. Okay, I guess Sangriel can kind of... Sangriel can deal with the lock anyways. Was there any reason to waste that beautify at all? Like, sure, it's two points, but it's like you can get, you get it from Griffin oh, Witcher. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Cause okay, yeah, you can use the Sangreal now to purify, but then that's going way too high, and it plays into Heat Wave. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure. It's not like one damage was going to easily kill the Secret Service. It, yeah. The golden dragon. There's the opposing lock. Okay, no griffins. The fruit isn't gonna really get any more value here. Or maybe you wanted to use the order early to try and get the Hubert out so that they can golden necker. Well, yeah, the, the idea was there, I think, also with the uh, damn sorceress in round two getting clicked. So now the question is, do you just save the Golden Neck even for last say to deal with the werewolf? I don't think, uh, I don't know really. Looks like he might be.
Okay, Irondite, uh, meanwhile, is slowly growing. It's already 6. By the end of the game, potentially, it can be 10 for 10. Getting provisions, that's amazing. I don't think it's ever gonna find really good kill on an engine of value. Yeah, unless unless uh, damage is getting wasted uh, to knock down the shield first. I wonder, like, uh, I assume Kaldar's gonna come down next turn with a uh, shield charge, mm -hmm. a shield all charge on him. Um, will that prompt the heat wave to be used in response? Because if so, that opens up a really nice Sangreal opportunity. That's a lot of points on this Keldar, if an answer. Like, he has the entire row to work on. Whenever you play a special card. Wow. Looking at this hand, it looks like a, a special hand. Yeah. It's, yeah, I think it's gonna fill the row up. But okay. then maybe we're running in, into problems when it comes so to the cover. It? Or you could just move. Okay. I don't mind that either. So yeah, that that's what I meant by damage being wasted. Uh, Iron Diet uh, kind of kills it now. Do you even try to prevent that? You could use... I don't mind using a Trial of the Crosses on it. It doesn't really look like you'll have much of a better target. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now we see the... Uh... Oh. Um, okay, there are two Reachers, but... Doesn't this... Kinda jeopardize Berenger's life. The bolt softens him up. The sword is... It'll be fine. Will it? Like it's literally toad now and I uh, Iron Diet. Griffin Witch over the Griffin Witch range of them? Actually I think it's about the same number of points anyways with the formation. Like this Berenger is dead. It's fine. The Witcher student is getting hit by actually... Iron Dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's not and enough it's Witches. It's, it's happening the now, turn. and there are no Witchers in the deck. And that's like minus 16 points. Ooh. Shortly, <laughs> and that's uh, after that. Yeah, that was not good. Not good. Wait. Okay, there is uh, one extra turn still. Okay, I guess the Iron Diet can still just kill the Witcher student. And but it's not going, so it might, uh, might have been used. But yeah, now now the okay, heat wave is gone and the wind cone yeah, is not being a... played too. Yeah. Bit of a miss sequence there. And this uh, Sangreal is now really, really nice on the Windhelm. <laughs> Look, I know like you want to kill the Immortals like a turn earlier. Um, Does it make much difference between uh, Griffin Reacher and Windhelm? Like you get an extra pink and it uh, auto-locks your infusion. Mm. I guess maybe the Griffin Witcher is better. Mm, yeah, Griffin that's Witcher true. Be better. Unless you hit the armor. But, uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hmm. so we have Santiax uh, registering another win here. The point gap was so what? 30 plus points, so I'm not sure if Berengar, uh, Berengar's demise yeah. would have been enough. This means Rain might be with a red coin of choice. I don't think you're taking hidden cash on red coin in, ever in this kind of matchup. I think you need the blue coin to have a chance. Yeah. Mm. 
You probably can run away with this uh, syndicate against orders if you got your bean see you Saul. Yeah, I think it has a chance on blue point. It would just be a bit too slow and the raids will get out of hand too quickly, I think, if it, the coins were reversed. We'll probably see rain next game if Cabela is able to get a win with the monsters here. But uh, this is probably the exact kind of situation in which the enchanted armor is perfect, because I don't think Warriors has the points really to contest this round one. Yeah. Particularly from Red. Devotion lists uh, definitely love to get uh, abused a little bit in, in, uh, in between their proper games. They're like, mm, now I feel like I'll give uh, my opponent a slight edge. Yeah, I think I'd like to see the Toad Prince come down here, like, uh... Warriors can tend to not have that many 4 power units later on. Kind of just take it while you get it, I'd say. Actually, maybe that's not great, you don't really want to eat a Warlord right here. Because that would mean that they have a chance if they had the phrase Blessing to already use it. Yeah, true. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, Locke is a very efficient answer to the tier in this kind of matchup. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Of course, you are playing a 6P against an expensive card, but you are <laughs> just denying your opponent uh, whatever threat he was posing with the tier. Uh, I'll be right back. There's a huge spider I need to deal with. Okay, no problem. Uh, are you leaving your camera on? I don't know, guys. Uh, oh no, uh, I'll hide. I'll hide this spider fighter lemon from you. Uh, no, it attacks him. No, they, they are struggling on the floor now. Uh, no, he eats him. I could show you the dead spider if you want. Uh, I'll save I, you. I, I, I've hidden your camera and has been narrating. Nothing already happened, he did it off screen. A golden dragon. A golden dragon. Aeonan. Okay. Where were we? We were at you fighting a golden dragon, I mean golden spider. But yeah, yeah I think it probably just... has been uh, expanded here, but I guess it doesn't really oh. matter since you have your iron yeah. diet growing, you have your riptides, so you should mm -hmm. have an answer to open board tier. Nothing really, unless, unless there they will be a solve on the board already. Yeah, they could lead like a leader or a servo or something to try to play around it. It would be really funny if they tried to do an empty serve, on, like a serve onto an empty board, and then because Riptide is actually 13 power <laughs> yeah. because of the... God, God, I, I love be that idea. Not sure there is any prompt to, to do that, but sometimes you like proactivity, yeah? Um, never mind, here's... <laughs> never mind, that's uh, round no. one. And Cabello better makes sure that Iron Diet is growing every turn and nothing can turn it off. But yeah, gets a win. In a round, gets last save with Werewolf, uh, develops Mamuna target, has uh, control. More this control. looks like a pretty good hand to get a bleed going, I'd say. Also, to be fair, there is also uh, Tesh Mutin is a pretty good answer for Tia. There is that as well in this matchup. It's been ages since I've played with Tesh Mutin, but yeah, it is the perfect answer to Tia. It was one of the main reasons Tesh kind of crept into the meta originally. Um, I think just lead. 
uh, Mamuna here, right? Or maybe you start with, say, the Ice Giant instead. <clears throat> or the Yotun. There's a lot of options. Hey, what are we pulling for... from Minero? Welcome back, Geralt. Minero. Oh, nice! Get the warlord back. That's that's actually a really okay, good play. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> there are no teleportations to abuse it, no. so might just uh, try to take it out from uh, Fuku and mm. uh, Freya. Yeah. Yeah. So Mamuna might be more of a short round play in this case. But uh, look at the double thrive proc on the fruits there. Okay, Toad would have been amazing on the blacksmith, but uh, Toad is gone. Mm, Cabelobeta oh. is pretty uh, confident uh, in his hand, so he waves. I'm surprised, because in a deck like this, the location is really only playing for like six points, usually. Oh, wait, yeah. Like, there, they don't get there, any there, removal there by are no one. piggies, true. They run what? No, there there are no Witch Apprentices piggies. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, and there, there is nothing to uh, really be threatened with uh, in uh, terms of an answer. Yeah, fair point. Like, maybe. I thought you meant to generally save the heat wave for whatever the tier brings back. Yeah. Uh, be like a 16 point. Oh, I guess you need the last save for the werewolf. I don't know. Well, there would have been a last save. And there's still pro I don't been. know. I mean, at this there point, you're not getting the last There is a tier on this Yotone. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, if need be, they can do that. Oh, uh, this is not a good Mamuna. Um... Okay. I mean, it's alright, but you'd much it's rather use it on the Gryphon. I'm not sold on how this push is going. But I guess if you are pushing, you cannot really leave, leave yourself uh, against yeah. the short round leader solve combo anymore. Okay. Now it's just, what, 23 points or <laughs> And uh, in the shadows, uh, Blacksmith is just uh, doing some work. So this is a tier, but uh, you do... Okay, it actually... Okay, that's big. At least the tier is out. <clears throat> what is your werewolf target anymore? Just something next round, like a, maybe an 8-point invader or something. Okay, 8-point doesn't sound too bad. Or maybe like a king brand, depending on how it goes. I use the iron die. Iron die traded for okay. gotten slashes. So mm. Not much. And you cannot spend literally everything. You have you you have to have some being gone. So if the enchanted armor actually went onto the werewolf here, you could literally. I mean, you don't have last say, so it doesn't really matter. You could have targeted the leader. Uh, but uh, it's probably just going to die to the champ's charge if there is even one bloodthirst able to be found apart from the leader. Hmm. Somewhere around that heat wave play on the location, it might have gone a bit wrong for Cabello. Yeah, I I did not like that. So this is dealing 4 damage. So your, your fruit is kind of feeding the primal savagery. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. No, 
no 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 you cannot oh uh, well first there is the disconnect i was thinking about can you discard everything oh but uh you deny the iron diet value you deny no i don't think i don't think you can but i kind of would have loved to see that tried out yeah i mean they could have like if they want like res the vabion or something if the under vabion wasn't even played then mind. Like, just play Savagery for damage on a 6 without spawning anything. Yeah. Discard your War of Clans, you have Champions Charge playing for... That probably was winning. Yeah. Not like it. I don't, I don't it was, think it's better though, because you only yeah. deny the Iron Diet, which is like, what, 15-ish points? Whereas by playing this these two cards, you certainly get more than fifteen points. Yeah, I mean that alone the was the variable plus eight. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's you also would lose the rain value. I, I'm I'm not counting the werewolf because you're gonna have the bloodthirst anyways to kill her. Okay, fair enough. I just tried and to this find a fancy way. <laughs> Of winning yeah, it. that's fair. But yeah. this is the problem of like playing against warriors. If you need the last eight, which I think here you needed it, it's just so easy for the warriors to defend the round two bleed. And this was even they had like nothing left really apart from Kusha. And I guess well, too fair. Babylon, Bran, Blood Eagle aren't bad, but it, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Warriors takes the victory, and that's another three-zero win for Team France here. Okay, so France uh, as uh, Ukraine goes for the lead in the group. Oh wait, I'm not even sure. Uh, I, uh, for, I forgot. I forgot right. what did I draw in the show, so. It's the same group, most likely, right? No, 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 it's not. Oh, oh no, they're no, different no, 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 this is a different group. But, yeah, well done uh, to team uh, 